With Website.com, you can quickly and easily create your very own website with no coding experience. In this video, I'll show you how step-by-step -step, to create your own website for your own business with Website.com. Hi everyone! Today I'll be walking you through creating a website using the Website.com web editor for a contracting website. So we're here on the Website.com homepage, and the first thing we can do is go up here to the Templates page. You can see we're on the Website Templates page right now. And since we're building a website for a contracting company, we'll go down here to Categories and choose Business and Organizations, and then scroll down a bit and choose Contractor. And here you can see we have contracting website templates. So I'm going to be using Home Energy. So I can click on View Template. If you like how this looks, you can go ahead and go to the top right and click Sign Up and Make Your Site Like This. On this page, we'll be entering in a domain name. So we'll be using MacArthurContracting.com. And then we can go ahead and check the availability. After I've entered that in, I can go ahead and click Check Availability. You can see that MacArthur Contracting is available, so I can go ahead and click Next. On this page, I'll be tasked with choosing some plan information as well as filling out some login and payment information, so I'll quickly do that now. After I've filled out all of this information, I can go ahead and click Create My Account Now. On this page, you'll see that I have two links, one to view my website now, or one to build my website now. Before we can start building the website, I need to wait for my account activation email. So I'll take a short break. So I've now received my account activation email, so I can begin building my website. So I can click Build Your Website Now. And you'll see we're here on the Website.com web builder, and before we can get started building the website, we have a quick tour to help us. So let's get started with that. The step one of the tour is you can choose a color scheme to fit your website by clicking on Design and then Color Schemes. Here you can choose a color scheme to change the different colors that make up your website. Step two is you can edit various elements of your page simply by clicking on them. Step three is your navigation menu up here. Step 4 are your undo and redo buttons to undo and redo the changes you've just made. Step 5 is the publish button which you'll hit once you've finished editing your website. And finally we have the help section over here with links to our YouTube channel as well as other helpful resources. So we're now here on our Home Energy HVAC Solutions website template and we can begin editing our website. The first thing I'll mention is that this template comes with industry specific content which you can see right here and this text is completely free to use. So I'll also give you a little bit of a quick walkthrough of the editor and the overall features that it has. Over here in the sidebar you can see we have an add section where you can add different elements to your website. Elements such as text elements, image elements, gallery elements, and plenty more. We also have our design section over here. When I mentioned this in the tour, I mentioned the color schemes section. So here you can choose different colors that make up your website. You can see those changes are being reflected on the site as I'm clicking on them. But for now, we'll stick with the template default. So the first order of business is to change our logo. So up here in the top left, you can see we have Home Energy HVAC Solutions. We're going to be changing this to MacArthur Contracting. So to edit text, I can click on it. And in this little orange menu here, choose Edit Text. And I can simply edit the text. This also brings up our text editor menu, where we can change the font styles, the font types, the size, colors, bolding, you name it. So I'll make those changes now. And I'll just move this over here. You can see there we have MacArthur Contracting HVAC Solutions. We can also edit this text simply by copying and pasting in text from an external source. So what I'm going to be doing now is clicking on this and choosing Edit Text. Now I can go down here and open my external document and simply paste in my text. You can see we have Welcome to MacArthur Contracting HVAC Solutions here. 
We also have our mobile editor, which I'll talk about later, which is accessible up here by clicking on the little button that looks like a phone. So what I'll be doing now is heading over to the services page. So I'll go to the services page by going up here to the navigation menu and clicking services. What I'll be doing on this page is changing this strip right here, this image strip. So I can click on it and in this menu choose change style. And over here in the panel box we can click change image. And now we're given an option of choosing either one of our many stock images or uploading our own image. For this image, we'll be uploading our own. So I can click on this and upload my own image. You can see I have this image here, so I'll click on use image. And it's a little bit cut off, so we can play around with the positioning of the image by going over here to the panel box and choosing the position here. So I'll choose this one. So this is now our R services page. I'll also be adding in some text here as well. So to add text, we can go over to the sidebar and click add and then text. And here we can choose one of the different font styles that we have that comes with this template. How about I add section title? So I'll be adding that up here. Now if you don't like what these text styles look like, you can add them and then simply change them after you've added them. So I'll edit this text now. There you have it. I added text that easily. The next thing we'll be doing is heading over to our contact page. So I'll go over there now by going from the navigation menu. What I'm going to be doing for this is adding a Google Maps app. So I can add one by going over to the add section and going down here to Google Apps and then choose Google Map. And you'll see that appears on my cursor here. So I can simply place this here and then bring this down. But you can see that my content section is too small to put this right now. So what I can do is click and drag and move my content section down to give it some more space. And then I can simply click and drag and move this down. And there's my Google Maps app. So I can change the location displayed on the Google Maps app by clicking on it and in this menu choosing settings and then changing the address here. And you can see those changes reflected here. The next thing I'll be doing is adding a testimonials page. And I'll be adding this page by cloning one of our existing pages. So to do that, I'll go over here to the pages section of the sidebar. And how about we clone our services page. So I can click on this little gear icon here. And instead of editing anything here, we can click clone page. And we'll be calling this testimonials. Then we can click done and we'll be taken to our new testimonials page. We can also edit the meta description and title of this page by going over here to the pages section again, clicking on this gearbox, and we can edit the page name as well as the meta title. Since we cloned the page, it has the meta title of our services page, which is the page that we cloned. So we'll change that now too. And click done. And you can see that those changes are reflected here as well. And it's in our menu bar. So now we'll just do some changing around of text and make this more suitable for a testimonials page. I'll also be copying and pasting in my own content as I did on the pages previously. So I'll do that now. Awesome. And now I can bring this content section up and I'll also change a bit of the font styles of this text here. So I can click on it, choose edit text, and choose a different font style. How about I choose title one? And we can move our content section down. Excellent. The last thing we'll be doing on this page is changing this image because we don't want to have the same image as our services page. So we'll click on it and go change style. And then over here in the panel box, choose change. And instead of uploading an image this time, we can choose from one of our many stock images. So I'll click on stock images. And how about I choose people? And let's go with this one. Bring it up there. And we can have this image now as our testimonials image. I'll also be creating a blog for this website. So to create a blog, I can go over to the pages section and choose add page. 
And in this add page menu, under categories, I can choose blog. So I can choose a name for that now, and I'll choose it blog. So you can see this is our blog page now in the menu, and I'll just quickly create a new blog entry by clicking on this button here. Click save, and you can see we have our first blog post here. Finally, before we can hit the publish button, we'll have to edit our mobile version of our website as well. So we can go over here, up to the top, and click on the button that looks like a mobile phone. And this will take us to our mobile editor, and you can see that we have our guidelines on the side here of what the website will look like on a mobile phone. So the first thing you'll notice is that MacArthur Contracting is cut off. So we'll need to scale the font down a little bit by clicking on it and choosing Scale Down. There we go, that fits. And we'll just go one by one through the pages to make sure that they fit on the mobile screen. So we'll go to the pages that we edited. Let's go to the contact page. You can see our Google Maps app is off of the page. So I'll bring this over and I'll just simply resize it by clicking on it and dragging these little white dots around and making sure that it fits. Now we'll go to our testimonials page. And you can see that this page extends past the content section, so we'll need to extend the content section itself. I'll bring that down here. And you can see that this all fits on the page as well. Now we'll go to our services page. And you can see our services here overlaps. So we could either move this out of the way completely to hide it from our mobile version of the site, or we could put it here and move some of the elements down by clicking on this grab handle tool. And there you can see it all fits on the page. Finally, we'll go to the home page. You can see everything here fits because we didn't make any changes by adding new content. Before we can publish the mobile version of our site, we have to go over to the Pages section and ensure that Enable Mobile View is turned on. This will ensure that all of our mobile pages get published. And we'll head back to the desktop version. The last thing we'll do is change around the order of the menu. We want the contact page to be last, so we'll go over to the Pages section, and to reorder the menu, we can click on these little icons here beside the pages. So I'll move the blog page up before contact, as well as testimonials. And you can see those changes are reflected here in the menu. And that's it. We can now go up to the top right and hit the publish button because we finished editing our website. And I've easily walked you through creating a website for your very own contracting website using the website.com web editor. If you have any more questions, feel free to check out our other YouTube tutorials or contact our support. Thanks for watching.